Hi everyone! I wanted to talk to you today about making your own vitamin C powder, hyaluronic acid serum, and if you want, vitamin C and hyaluronic together. Uh, you can mix any one of these separately or you can mix them together. The key is when you mix this, you have to use it up within five to seven days. Now the hyaluronic can last longer if you don't have the vitamin C in it, but the vitamin C does turn the minute that it starts going any kind of color, you need to get rid of it. It means that it's oxidizing and it's not going to work. There is recipes that I will put on my blog for the different proportions of vitamin C. You can do 5%, 10%, 15 20%. The key is I have now started buying a different vitamin C than I used to. This is a fine granular allascorbic acid, 99.93% purity, and it is meant for cosmetic use. This means that it is very pure. It's meant to go on the skin. It also uh, should dissolve easier than anything that you're using with the fine granular powder. That being said, I typically mix mine up, shake it, and leave it for at least four hours, and then shake it again, and then you will find that the vitamin C is dissolved. If not, you may need to add a bit more water. So it's very simple. You basically need water, whatever powder you're gonna use, the hyaluronic and or the vitamin C. I'm gonna show you mixing it together as one serum, but I will put, like I said, the recipes on my blog for doing it separately. And then if you want, you can also put in glycerin. You need a tinted amber glass container so that it doesn't get exposed to the light, your measuring cups, and then if you want, I also love these little filters, and I'll put links to these off Amazon and they just make it easier so you don't spill things. But basically, glycerin, water, and the powder is what makes up your serum. It's a matter of the different proportions. So I'm gonna show you, like I said, how I make the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So I start with the powders. First, I'm doing the hyaluronic. I always put the powders in first, so after the hyaluronic, I put in the vitamin C. Now, I am doing a stronger strength because I like more vitamin C. I like the full strength. So I'm doing one and a half teaspoons. Then I add in the glycerin. I love how it gives it the silky, thick feel. Without the glycerin, it would just be a runny water. And then finally the water, I add distilled water. And when you're done, put the stopper on and shake it really well. And then I shake it again four hours later or whenever I'm gonna use it. I usually make it in the afternoon and then shake it right before I use it in the evening. This could last me over two weeks, but the main thing is use the color change as an indicator. The minute it changes color, you need to get rid of it. So that's it, and all the recipes will be on my blog. You can use this on your face or your body. And the hyaluronic acid, they actually say you can use that serum on your hair as well, which I've never tried. But if you try it, I'd be very interested to know what you think of it. And I'll put the directions for that on my blog as well. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you next time.